Of investigators have new information tonight on a federal grand jury investigation in Massachusetts looking into how recreational marijuana licenses are issued. We've learned several communities in southeastern Massachusetts have received subpoenas asking for records related to controversial agreements that cities and towns have made with pot businesses. Target 12 investigator Tim White is here now with what he's learned. The U.S. attorney in Massachusetts foreshadowed an increased scrutiny on those deals statewide when he announced the charges against Fall River Mayor Jaisal Correa earlier this year. At least four communities in southeastern Massachusetts have received a grand jury subpoena seeking all written or electronic records, including voicemails, relating to any business that has applied for a marijuana license. Target 12 has confirmed Fairhaven, Attleboro, Taunton, and Berkeley have received a subpoena. The Boston Globe reports other communities across the Commonwealth have also gotten the demand for documents. The action comes in the wake of the federal case against Fall River Mayor Jaisal Correa. Correa is accused of shaking down marijuana businesses by demanding they pay him hundreds of thousands of dollars in exchange for what's called a non-opposition letter. Businesses need the letter to obtain their license. Correa has pleaded not guilty. Just to be clear, the investigation is still ongoing. At a news conference in September announcing the charges against Correa, Please Massachusetts U.S. Attorney Andrew Correa Lelling raised serious questions about those non-opposition letters. I think it's easy to predict that that would be an area that would invite this kind of petty corruption. Several other communities did not return Target 12's request. The town of Somerset declined to say if they have received a subpoena or not. Officials in New Bedford, Plainville and Freetown tell us they have not received any requests for information from a federal grand jury. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News.